What's up, guys? We are back. We are back after about uh, what was it, like a week and a half off? We took a little. We took a little bit of a break, but we're back. Um, we've got lots of awesome content coming, starting right here, right now with this. We're gonna do an unboxing for you guys. Just got this today. Ordered it. Pre-ordered it about so oh, I don't know. Two months ago, three. Two or three months ago. Uh, so what is in here? This is the special, exclusive, limited edition Umbrella Entertainment Talk To Me Blu-ray collector set. And inside here, as part of the collector set, is a replica of the embalmed hand prop from Talk To Me. Now, before I get into that, I do want to explain something. There's actually two really awesome replicas coming out, official replicas coming out of the hand, the embalmed hand from Talk To Me. This is the first one. The second one is coming directly from A24 and it is an exact replica with all the writing. The one in here, it is taken off of a 3D scan of the original prop, so it's proper size, proper everything, um, but it's blank, and it's blank for a reason. The reason is, is that the idea that they have is they want this to be like a fresh hand prop from the movie where you can write your own things on it. As you know, the hand prop from the movie, I keep doing this because, you know, that's what it looks like, kind of, yeah, like that. Um... It's got all this writing on it. Uh, so the one coming out later this month, which we also pre-ordered and it will be here soon. We will show you. Yes, there will be an unboxing for that as well. Um, the one directly from A24 is actually made out of ceramic, just like the one in the film, and it has all the writing on it. So it's a 100% accurate replica. This one is accurate to the point of not having the signatures on it. So it's the proper size, it's the proper everything. Uh, it's made out of a different material, but the idea is that they want you to do your own writing on the hand, which I think is pretty cool. So without further ado, my trusty butter knife here, let's get this baby open because I've been waiting for it. This came from Australia. They are a foreign company. Let's get this box. Oh, that's already, okay, it's already really cool. It's already really cool, I gotta say. Oh, wow, that's awesome. So there's a big box here. Hold that flap down for me. Pull this out. Look at this box, guys. And then I'm guessing this is the movie here. All right, go ahead and toss that box. Oh, wow, they even sent in the movie. Yeah, okay. Let's take a look at what's here first. First, I want to show this box. This is freaking amazing. Look at this thing. That is awesome. Look at this box. I love when packaging is like really premium to the point that you don't want to get rid of it. I don't like having a lot of boxes around, but I do love a nice box. And I love a box like this that makes you just want to keep the box. So it's got the logo there, talk to me. It's got all the writing that you see on the hand on it. And on the back, there's a little note printed on it. Get a look at that. And let me read it here for you. It says instructions, light a candle, clasp the hand, speak the words, talk to me, and invite the spirit in. Don't leave the door to the spirit world open for more than 90 seconds or else they'll want to stay. This is so cool. So we know what's in here. This is the hand. So let's save that for last, right? Let's save the best for last. Here is the actual 4K Blu-ray set, along with an Artline Supreme permanent marker. They even gave you the marker to do the writing on, which is really cool. So you get a nice quality permanent marker here to do the writing set that there for now and here is the set it is sealed on its own it's a nice little box here that shows everything that's in it 
Talk to me exclusive collector's edition is exclusive to the Umbrella Web Store. This has an official steelbook with 4K and Blu-ray discs, a 48-page bound book, a collection of behind-the-scenes experiences, and art includes exclusive interview with Rocker Rocker Brothers, who directed the movie. Custom-designed outer rigid slipcase using scans from the original prop hand. So that's what we're looking at here. So this is called a rigid slipcase. Uh, uh, Shout Factory, Scream Factory, uses the rigid slipcases for their Halloween 4Ks. I really like a rigid slipcase. There's also eight art cards, an A3 reversible poster, and a limited and it's a limited edition numbered release. So here we go. There's my number right there. Collector's edition. I got 1990. It's like a date. I was seven years old in 1990. But right there. 1,990 of 2,600. So there's only 2,600 of these out there. And we got one of them. So let's go ahead. Open this guy up first. I'll move this phone wrap right that way. It's not in the way. Good idea. Good idea. Okay. So I love this already. And like most um, box sets so to speak. I know it's only one movie, but you know, this thing does come off. So you have all that nice artwork. I usually try to leave it on just because I like seeing like what's in the set. But here we go. We got that nice, um, what do they call that? I should know because we use it on our board games with Stop the Killer. Um, UV spotting. That's what it's called. The technical term, anytime you see something that's nice and matte and smooth like this, and then it's got that nice shiny effect on part of it like that. The talk to me lettering, that's called UV spotting. And it's actually kind of expensive. So again, premium set here. Let's go ahead and open it. There is our rigid slip case. That's why they call it rigid. It's nice and thick and sturdy. So here is oh, wow. the, yeah, wow. Wow is right. Here's the steel book. Check that out. And what I automatically like about it is it is matte finished and it does not show fingerprints. Look at this. That's one of the biggest complaints about steel books is as soon as you touch, they're just like a, a magnet for fingerprints. No fingerprints on this sucker. This is awesome. So a beautiful steel book. Let's get it open. There we have our 4K disc and our Blu-ray disc. And this right here, I'm assuming, is the poster. There's the artwork on the inside of the steel book. Let's check out the poster. Might as well just show them everything, right? Yeah. All right, so yeah, it's a reversible poster. So here we got this, talk to me, I let you in, umbrella entertainment, and then flip it around. And you got the, that's the classic poster that we saw in theaters. Very cool, very awesome. So there is the movie itself. Awesome, awesome, awesome steel book. This is the bound book here. And again, super high quality. It's a real book. Love the smell of new books. So... Yeah, we got lots of interesting, looks like there's lots to look at and read in here. Lots of stuff. Lots and lots and lots of stuff in here. This is awesome. Those are basically a book of the movie. Yep. So there's an awesome book with it. And these, I'm assuming, yes, these are the art cards here. Let's get the little paper holder off. Don't need to keep that. So here are the art cards that it comes with. So these are basically stills from the movie. They're kind of like lobby cards. Um, really cool. Really nice, thick card stock. These are really nice. Really nice addition to that. And of course, everything just fits in there. Really nice and tight, perfect. perfect. Look at that, awesome. This is awesome, it's gonna look awesome on the shelf with all the other 4Ks, love it. Now, 
We've been waiting for this. In here, let me in, talk to me, collector's edition, full-size, customizable replica, poly resin hand from a scan of the original movie prop. It's not sealed. Here we go. Let us open this up. Kind of opens up like a shoebox. It does. All right, let's take this out. I see it. I see it. it. Seems smaller than I thought, but you know what? It's taken. Oh, this is solid and sturdy. I wasn't really sure what poly resin was going to be like. Uh, but here we go. Okay, this is numbered as well. That's interesting. So, the this set has is 2,600. There's 2,600 of these. Because you can, on the Umbrella Entertainment site, you can order just this. So, there is 2,600 of these total. So, I'm assuming it means there's only 600 of these because... The hand has a plaque on the bottom, or a sticker rather, and it is limited to 2,000. And I got number, that's a beautiful sticker, I got number 207 out of 2,000. So let's get this off of here. Got all these little, it's the only thing I hate about styrofoam, it just gets little dots everywhere and it sticks to everything. All right. That's good enough. No, I don't want it on the hand. I want this thing to be like pristine. Come on. Let's get off of there. Okay. Yeah, it's just stuck everywhere, guys. Stupid styrofoam. All right, here it is. There it is, right there. That is the scanned from the original screen used hand. So it is the exact size, exact everything. That is it. It's got a nice base here and give you a better look at the sticker there. Talk to me. Let me in. Collector's edition. Blank replica prop hand. Limited edition. Number 207 of 2000 from Umbrella Entertainment. There we go. That is awesome. I do like that it has a base for it for display purposes. Now, like I said, there is another... Uh, very 100% screen accurate replica hand coming from A24, which again, we also pre-ordered and it it's exact. It has all the handwriting exactly as it was in the movie um, and it does not have a base. So it's exactly like you see in the movie. It's exact. But this is it, guys. Let me set that right there. I know you can't really see it. Should have had a little bit of a higher desk here to put it on. But there it is. Oh, shoot. Look at that. I'm holding the hand just like in a movie. Let me in. What the hell is that? Just kidding. No, seriously. Maybe the maybe the the screen accurate one will actually work. No, you didn't do it right. I didn't light the candle. You're right. I didn't light the candle. Yeah. And you didn't say talk to me. Yep. You're right. We're going to have to do it. Maybe we'll wait for the actual one. But this is cool to hold it. Now we know what it felt like when they're holding it in the movie. And like I said, I wasn't really sure what poly resin was. This is definitely breakable. I know the other one's ceramic, just like the one in the movie. So that one's definitely going to be very fragile. This is also fragile, guys. This is... Definitely, if you drop this, it would definitely break. So definitely have to be careful with it. But I love this. I love that it comes with a pen so that you can put your own writing on it. Now, the big question, will I actually do that? I don't know. I honestly don't know if I want to actually write on that. I know that's the point of it. What do you guys think? You guys tell us in the comments, should we play the game and write writing all over it on our own with this marker? Or would you keep it just as it is, as a collector's piece? Let us know in the comments. 
Thank you for watching. You can pick this up still from Umbrella Entertainment. It's $110 shipped uh, from Australia. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I'm so excited to have this. And we will see you guys on the next one.